Audacio is a great solution to create interactive 3D assembly instructions online. But you need a CAD tool to create your initial 3D data. SolarWorks is the tool of choice for many Cadasio users, and we thought it'd be useful to share some tips and tricks to speed up the assembly modeling process when using it. Let's take a look. Selecting the right level in an assembly tree isn't always straightforward and often requires drilling down through multiple sub-assemblies. To speed this process up, use breadcrumbs. Selection breadcrumbs are a context-based view of the current selection. You can easily select assemblies, parts, bodies, features and faces, as well as planes and mates. If breadcrumbs aren't appearing for you, they can be enabled from the display menu under system options. Mates are one of the most commonly used features within assembly modeling, so any time that can be saved whilst adding them can really reduce design time. For the common mate types, the Alt key can be used to quickly drag a component into place and add a mate at the same time. Hold the Alt key, click on a face of a component and drag it to another face that you want to add that mate to. Quick mates are another great way to quickly constrain your components. Hold your control key to multi-select any entities that you'd like to mate and the quick mates menu will appear by your cursor. Clicking the required mate will add it in without having to go to the full mate dialog. If you're not seeing the quick mates menu appear, check that it is enabled from the tools customized menu. It is not unusual to need to add multiple mates back to the same reference especially with cylindrical geometry. Multimate speeds this process up by allowing a single common reference and multiple component references across different parts. It's common to need to select faces that can't be seen, and this can mean constantly rotating a model to get the right selection. A quick way to avoid this rotation is to use Select Other. Select Other allows you to choose things that are hidden by other entities and it can be accessed by right-clicking. Similar to the use case for Select Other, the Component Preview window can be really useful to reduce model rotation and help with selection. From the Context menu, when selecting any part or sub-assembly, choose Component Preview window. This opens the selection in a new window and the model can be manipulated into any position. You can even add mates across the two windows. Assemblies can get complicated quickly, and the larger the assembly, the more difficult it becomes to get the right selection. This is where hiding and showing components can really help out. You'll be aware that parts can be hidden by clicking the eye tool from either the feature manager or the flyout menu when over a part. But a nice shortcut for this is to simply hover over a part and press tap. If you then need to make that part visible again, hover over where the part was and press shift tap. If you've hidden a number of parts and want to make them all visible again, right click anywhere in the screen and choose show hidden components. This inverts the assembly visibility. Now simply click on the components you wish to make visible again or box select and then exit the show hidden dialog. Adding mates to planes within an assembly is an easy way to restrain parts, but it can require a number of clicks in order to find the required plane. Did you know you can simply hover over a part and press Q, which will display all planes from that component. These can then be selected and used as you'd expect. The feature manager often includes multiple levels of assembly and drilling down into these is a common part of the assembly process. This can leave the feature manager looking quite messy with sub-assemblies and parts expanded. A quick shortcut to tidy this up is to use Shift C, which collapses all items. And finally, the last tip is to use interference detection. Found on the Evaluate tab, interference detection analyzes your assembly model and highlights if there are any shared volumes. Overlapping parts can't exist in reality, so it's important to catch these errors during the design stage before anything goes into manufacture. 
Great, so that brings us to the end of this tips and tricks video. Don't forget that for your instruction manuals, Cadassio is a great solution that allows you to create 2D and 3D interactive assembly instructions straight from your SOLIDWORKS CAD data. Download our SOLIDWORKS add-in now and get started for free.